Hello guys, something is happening in the agriculture sector in Africa. And I don't know if you guys are feeling it or seeing it or hearing of it, but in last week alone, agriculture in Africa has gotten more attention than it ever has. Even though I have been preaching it for the past three years, this is happening because of one person who has decided to take it upon himself to promote agriculture in Africa. In this video, I'm going to share that person with you and I'm going to share with you the shaking or the impact that he's making on the continent because finally, what I have been preaching for years is really hitting the ground and I feel it and I'm so excited to share with you. So join me and let's talk about this guy who is making a huge impact and I think you will be inspired about the outcome as well. Welcome back guys and I'm so excited that you guys stayed around. Today we're going to be talking about some exciting things that is happening in agriculture in Africa and I'm so excited. But before we do that, I want to talk to you guys about the exotic goats that we have and the mission that we have in changing the livestock industry because if we really want to have success in our business in farming we need to do things right and especially we have dedicated our farm to goat farming and we are then introducing exotic breed from south africa which is the kalahari the savannah the boa goat if you guys are interested contact us and let's help you start your farm the right way today what i want to talk about i am not sure if most of you are aware of this person that i'm talking about but over the years a lot of people like myself and so many other youtubers have really been preaching about the impact and the necessity for all of us to invest into agriculture knowing that we have about 700,000 acres of fertile land in Africa. This means that Africa should be the hub for agriculture and food production. Knowing that in 2050, the demand for food is also going to increase by 70%. Again, knowing that 30% of the world's population is still living in hunger, which majority is actually coming from Africa. This is serious and this means that something must be done. So I'm very excited that this week, for some reason, somebody who has the power and cares about what is happening, you know, has taken the step in supporting people like me and so many other people to make sure that this message hit the ground. And I'm not talking about no other person, but our village boy, Wodemaya. Maya over the past week has been in Uganda. And if you guys have been following me, you know I was in Uganda last week and I met a lot of farmers. I learned a lot from them, Value Farm, Nguni Farm, Duke, you know, so many of them and learned so much from what they were doing in the goat industry, in the livestock industry. Last week, Maya started also releasing videos about his time in Uganda. And guess what? He has been doing more videos on agriculture in Uganda than any other thing. That means that Maya also sees the importance. But he has the power. He has the audience. He has the reach. He's reaching out to people that are in the diaspora, Africans that are there, African-Americans that are there. And not just that, but also even investments, right? And that is hitting the ground. It is hitting the ground because Maya doesn't even know the impact that is even making in the life of not just his viewers, but even people like us. Because in the past one week, we have been getting a lot of messages. Everything is increasing for us. Our viewership is increased, even though we are not doing a video with Maya, right? But the fact that he's talking about agriculture means that people are researching more about agriculture and not just agriculture, but in Africa. And don't forget, we are doing goat. So as he's visiting, you know, a lot of these goat farmers who are doing well in Uganda, that means that people who are interested in Ghana are also researching goats in Ghana, right? So our views on YouTube are increasing. 
people reaching us on WhatsApp has been mad. And as you guys know, there is the Easter break. So a lot of people have time now. They are online. They are watching. They have time to call. They have time to text. Our WhatsApp, which is farminginafrica.com, has also increased drastically just within these few weeks, right? And then our gold importation is also increasing, right? And it's like, I was like, I was talking to the team. I was like, guys, what is going on? And not knowing Maya, you are spreading the news, the news that we've been spreading over years, right? And that is causing such a great impact. And I know I did a video last year about how most of, you know, the YouTubers that, that are out there in Africa, the way they've been paving for us, the impact. I know even when I visited Uganda and I called people I wanted to visit their farm, the moment I tell them I'm from Ghana, they're like, oh, Odemaya, yeah, 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 come. It was paving way even before I even met Maya myself, right? So I think it is, it is very exciting. And it's also like to me liberating to see that, you know, Maya, even though we need to get you your farm and get it going, it's not a farmer. His content is basically to, to expose Africa to the world and show the good thing. But with the direction of just trying to expose what we're doing in the agriculture, it's causing so much impact in our lives, in agriculture, and I'm not going to be selfish, but what we are all doing is going to be for the next generation, for the next people that are going to have access to this information, for people that want to invest and don't know where, people that want to invest into agriculture but doesn't have the skills or the knowledge, right? That is why we do these videos, to share with you our mistakes, our knowledge, and what we're doing right and wrong so that you can learn from this. So Maya, thank you for putting us on the map. Thank you for encouraging people to invest into agriculture because I do share that vision that we need to be the backbone of the world. We have so much potential as Africa in agriculture to be able to feed the world and therefore we should cut down on importation. Your country, Ghana, is importing 800 million of tomatoes into Ghana, 100 million of onion into Ghana. That money should be staying in Ghana and put it into employment, into infrastructures. So continue doing what you're doing and most of us are behind you. And thank you, thank you once again for educating your audience, that audience that you've built over years from hard work into knowing the light and the light is food and what we eat, what we consume and the opportunities that exist in Africa for all of us. Thank you so much and thank you guys for watching and I hope I'll bring you another video next week talking about agriculture and continue preaching the right way to do farming in Africa.